reason why people come into wealth and all they do is to buy brand new cars. I'm not saying there is anything wrong with cars. I like cars. I like cars myself. But with the kinds of responsibility I carry, the drug rehabs and the orphanage, girls on the street, and the things I'm doing, even though I admire and like cars, when I see what price of some of the cars I like can do, I don't want the car. Because you see, the car, if I can help some of these girls on the streets and do some of the things I want to do that will not give me personal pleasure, but it will put a smile on the face of somebody, that is a satisfaction. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because whenever you can do something for somebody who can't do anything for you in return, that is where true satisfactions come from. But if you do things for people and they can do something to reward you, there's no satisfaction. I was telling them in the first service, if you help young lady, a young beautiful, you help her. And after you help her, she offers you her body or you demand and insist that she should sleep with you, there is no satisfaction in that. That is abuse of position, office, power, or resources. A real man, a true man and a real man, is one that has cultivated and developed the capacity of working free from what you like and you admire. You look at, you look at her. She got everything you want. And you look at her and say, okay, baby, you got it. I feel you, but you in mind. Until, brother, until you develop that power in the choir where you can see all these beautiful chicks. You hear me? And you can feel them, but you are able to walk and say, girl, you may have everything I want, but you are in mine. Until that day, you don't have power. You lack power and you lack character. Ye have need of patience. Today there is no patience in our society. The youth of today, everybody is in haste. And people, people who are in haste to go somewhere, they die early. I've watched it for 40 years. So these days, I'm not impressed by people, whether you're a preacher, whether you're a man of God, a prophet, a politician, whether you are in corporate, I don't care who you are. If I see you dig, 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 grabbing, grabbing, that want to prove a point, I pity you, you won't last. And the reason why things happen to people, eh, and it keep happening, we don't learn from history. I am a student of history, so I fight my battles differently. I have learned to hold my peace and to let time fight the battles I can't fight today. Vindication is in the womb of time. There are some battles you will never win until you leave it to time. The future is for those who have learned to wait. And to endure. If you can't wait, if you can't endure, it's an indication that you won't last long. 